Hi, this is um, Halo 5 um, Guardians Exploration for the Xbox One. It starts off with a wallpaper startup page like they usually do and everything else and most um, Xbox games. But it takes ages to start off because after when I installed it, it's running off of the physical disk as an authorization. It starts off with Microsoft Studios logo as they do. <laughs> free for free industries, yay! <laughs> Due to the nature of the of the content, could to maybe copy written. I didn't risk of um, getting it flagged. Fiesta Fiesta S S Slayer, get a party and jump into matchmaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Community rift ball courts. So many explorations and things that is in the way of um, PvP, as they usually do, with new, ami new arena maps, talking and all sorts of that, which is a, a whole exploration for those who is into PvP and yeah, it's got uh, multiplayer options, Arena, Warzone, Custom Game, Forge and Theatre. Let's have a look at the Arena maps. Team Arena, Slayer, Breakout, Free for All, SWAT and Big Team Battle and the Social Fiesta and Griff Ball which is in new additional maps. Then there's the Warzone. What Warzone? Twenty-four players on a massive maps and rec and an AI adversaries. Hero multiplayer has never been bigger. Minimum of players eighteen. Fire team limited is twelve. Matchmaking ban rules in effect for request for repeated quitting. Betrayals, inactivity, and other misconduct. So, yeah, yeah, it was a way of them um, to stop this um, starting the game, then not getting away, and then um, quitting halfway through, which wasn't going to be fair on the team, which could penalise you, and in the, that retrospect for the long haul. All the customised games, Zelda mods and everything else, is that you can create yourself and all sorts of other things. Then there's the Forge. Forge is like anything else. It's got to win unlimited, 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 yeah, and, and everything else. Um, then there's the theatre mode. Recent films. Bookmarked films. Watch film. Yeah, which is all the entries of the progress of um, game play in, in general. Um, to which everything else. The message of the day in the community. Um, yeah. That's been um, exploration and that. But the, 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 that's the Halo Channel, which I forgot to mention in my Halo Channel walkthrough. Yeah, um, as I uh, uh, studied about the terminals in um, Halo 2 Anniversary, that each channel has a chapter of the Arbiter which you got to collect every single 12 bits of the story in order to get the achievements and that. So it's told by the Arbiter's um, point of view, is um, 
Halo 2 anniversary. That's why you get to play him halfway through the game, well as the Master Chief and and he has a long winded um, story build up uh, to the siege on um, Cairo Station. Campaign. You can neither play on solo or co op. Which is a um, few comparisons and etc. It's got all sorts of things like um, difficulty, like normal, easy, normal, heroic, and um, legendary. But yeah, when you buy the Halo Anniversary series, um, uh, action figures, it comes with separate pieces which you can build that represents the difficulty level in the video game. There's uh, options like A for select, B for back, and two squares for carnage and spot and hub. There's so many difficulties. There are active skulls which you have to collect, but uh, not in favour of the skulls because it, is, it can be very difficult, uh, etc. Spartan up career service record. Nothing in the arena because I don't do um, in the arena work. Was on a customized games. It's game mode campaign. Osiris um, yeah, times completed two. The times completed one. Death zero and that. Death and zero and that. Two deaths in that, zero in that, and deaths in that, and etc. And three in that. Um, yeah, um, the game is is great. The, the elements are beautiful, and uh, how they did the modeling on the characters based on the actors' voices, like. Um, they did a fantastic job on Nathan Fillion's and likeness to every si single detail and the amounts of uh, actors in the video game. Yeah, um, the whole backstory of Halo Guardians is, takes place is after the events of um, Halo 4, which was a story about Cortana experiencing rampancy and and that um, Master Chief believes he, she be cured by the Dr. Halsey that cre created her out of her own brain tissue and that. But um, the story that Katana says every AI has a life expectancy of um, seven years, but the experience rampancy in in six, but it seems to me that it kind of familiar to Ridley Scott's Blade Runner and uh, etc. With, with the whole story of the forerunners, which you think that's also kind of a familiarity to um, Blade Runner, yeah, uh, the hurt. Yeah, and the uh, story of uh, Master Chief goes rogue, so, uh, a bunch, so the elite Spartans is led by Spartan uh, Locke and um, Buck, which is um, Nathan Fillion and that. But um, I can recollect to playing um, Halo 2 Anniversary, it opens up uh, uh, with... Um, Spartan Locke uh, having a discussion to to the elite uh, and getting him to help him to hunt down the master chief uh, and etc. Yeah, but the the whole gaming experience is great. The the game has the same beats as, as uh, Halo Two 
remastered which you can play as both characters all the way through the game. Which is were great. The, the misgivings I had about Halo 4 was they took away the humour from the elites and the grunts and made them all look like kind of stock footage characters from Mars Attacks. They were so bland in that I was not happy with that. So there was uh, various um, elements of the game which was vaguely familiar to the game Saints Row 4 which I uh, didn't like the cut and paste cap and copy elements that went on with the film not film, went on with the game that's why I stopped playing it halfway through and never carried on playing it again but um, Halo 5 um, won me over when they brought back the humour to the grunts which was which was fantastic and etc. I had a ball playing Halo 5 even more than I did with playing Halo 4 yeah and did it and etc. Yeah I'll continue. Customization which you could customize your character with various colours and that to, the etc. Spartan ID, the, the um, yeah, and the helmet and all sorts of other stuff. Yeah, so some of these are legendary recruit common. If you if you like your legendary stuff, you can go to legendary. You can have it in normal or but but. Battle damage. If I was to be a sucker, I'd go with that one. But you can get most um, uh, customizations in rec packs and um, and all sorts of uh, other awesome things. There's the armor. You could change the look of the armor, battle damage, normal, and that. I prefer that, it looks better. Lock markup not found. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, like I said, you can find some of these in rec packs and etc. Go to safe changes. Yeah, which I'm going to go into the requisitions. Requisitions is is a microtransactions. That ability to purchase it's rare and exclusive um, legendary items that's unlockable mainly useful uh, mainly for pvp but uh, as for me career mode and solo whatever you play as the default character which is spartan lock yeah the the packs um, varies for different prices and um, gold pack for ten thousand for two pounds and thirty nine gold rec packs contain a large amount of uncommon and legendary wrecks. Two wrecks will be permitted to un permanent to unlock if available. Silver pack, silver pack are common to rare, which is is, is various types of um, rarities. Bronze. Is, is, 5x with five times the gold pack and for 11.99 7.99 for the three times tier seven times is for 15 pounds 99 for 10 times the gold tier pack plus additional for free will be 23 pounds and 99 
50 times gold uh, plus 5 uh, free additionals <laughs> will set you back at £35.99 and for the 35, 34 uh, times gold pack and 13 free additionals will cost you around about £64.99 which cost you a, a twice as much in um, US dollars which many people was not happy about the other high prices on these requisitions and that it's been happening too frequently the games are going to what leading towards um, the micro transaction things which people did not like that route of um, video gaming in general was going towards they expect to play games to it's like in PvP, in any types of games, no matter if it's um, Halo, Destiny, Call of Duty, and all sorts of other games that offer PvP maps, which you, you can um, take on certain PvP m m maps to increase the score and chance of getting um, certain uh, abundance of the rewards if you want. All the further ones you have to have very deep pockets and pay for yourself. But which many fans is, 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 is uh, constantly frustrated about. Um, I think it was um, recently featured in Angry Joe's review or whatever. It, where we they discuss the z z is idiotic um, route of um, getting people to spend more money to get uh, unlockables and that to to upgrade the characters, but um, whereas that fell short, uh, whereas um, Destiny, if you want to. Um, Rare items like uh, awesome headgear and um, weapons and that, it, you have to do various um, bounties and missions, you turn them um, in, into, you turn those bounties and repetition into rewards which gives you loads of rarities which they are upgradable themselves as, as, as you go along. But there was no this um you gotta buy this for for one pound and fifty nine for a silver tier and for a gold tier parts and for anything from twenty no two pounds of thirty nine to all the way up to the last one is sixty four ninety nine which is the same amount of equivalent to of buying a bundle vi pack vi video game I think it's around about the same equivalency of buying the Destiny bundle pack which comes with the Taken King and comes with loads of uh, other uh, items that uh, is like legendary packs and all sorts of other uh, things and etc which which people hate this and being sucked into to these licenses and it's basically all wrong and people should should have the opportunity to get rewarded for doing um, PvP arena maps and that and in order to get um, points and etc to transform into awards instead of having to break your bank balance in order to buy them I did uh, purchase one my, myself um, which uh, yeah, came with um, rare and uh, other legendary items and that but the, the, you get re repetitions in absolutely every pack so I had to get rid of the duplicates and sell them back and, and etc. 
which which I find is 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 um, not right is is charging people in the way of uh, microtransactions for unlockables and that in video games. I think it's I think it's totally wrong. But p but these uh, video game companies don't listen to its fan base. That's that's why it gets a bit sad and etc. They they're not here. They're not taking into fact people's say, frustrations. They say they don't want to pay any more uh, microtransactions. That they don't want to force sit down your throat in order for them to piggyback more money off of you than you've already paid for and um, etc. That's the only gripe I have about the, the licensing in general. It's like um, Blu-rays and etc. They go in the same way as video games and and etc. Fans are getting fed up of this um, buying into licenses and uh, and all sorts of other stuff that, that which was in the past they uh, had the thrill and experience of buying a video game, take it on, put it into the machine and um, play it, and then as they progress, they get awarded for it. There was none of this or. Oh, if you want additional items and that, um, you have to uh, spend more money to, into it, which is n nonsensical. There was none of that in the past, uh, etc. That's where, that's where these companies like Activision, Free for Free Industries, and all that l l got to learn to understand. People have basically had enough of. This touting into to these franchises and the licenses and that, which is which is not right and piss people off. I know the frustrations where the likes of Angry Joe was getting when he does these rants about these things, and quite frankly, it's seriously starting to piss him off, and quite a lot of other gamers in general, which everybody. Um, start to speak out to it's like a Mortal Kombat 10 that that was a guilty party you buy it and it has Goro on the disc lots behind the paywall which you have to pay £1.30 in order to get it unlocked I suffered the same way when I bought the Master Chief collection I bought it off of this site for over 30 quid and that and um, installing that it it had um, Halo or DST. There, like Goro and Mortal Kombat 10, locked behind the paywall. I had to pay extra in order to activate it so I could play it. Which I find it was totally wrong to do, do, doing that. That was totally not right and bad practices and that and etc. The loadout rates and all sorts of other. Armor mods and that. Yeah, every time we get um, red parts, it, it's, it automatically locks, unlocks it for for equipping and all that lot and etc. And this is the, yeah yeah I got one in, yeah I got that in a red pack um. That, uh, that I did get additional ones for completing um, Halo, but, uh, Halo Guardians and etc. I didn't get any rare uh, common um, items in that one, in DMR, likewise in that. Which you can build up an awesome library of rare and common and legendary um, items, but like I said, in order to get most of them, you have to pay in order to unlock them ready for use in mainly PvP and etc. 
Halo 2 Battle Rifle, that's a legendary one. BR with classic sight and reliable firepower never goes out of style. Battle Rifle with full screen zoom. Which you uh, have to unlock that in PvP. You have to do it or you find it in the um, higher tier um, rec packs and etc. SMG, nothing in SMGs and all that lot. But um, the, the gaming experience in um, Halo Ga Guardians w w w was brilliant and it has a return appearance from the Arbiter which is a good um, I addition to the game, like with the grunts humor is back, which which were which was bringing with joy and uh, all sorts of them power ups are rare and common and uh, legendaries. You get those in also in packs and that and, uh, also in vehicles. Yeah, I've got most of these in packs. It's, it's like a banshee rare and uh, ghost and common and etc. Mantis or ultra. Rare. Mongoose. Mm. And, all, and all sorts of them. But bonus items you, you, you get for, for doing rewards and buying them in rec packs and that. Yeah, and the, yeah, and it's a great experience um, and all sorts of other awesomeness of gameplay and that, um, but uh, it, uh, it um, uh, won me over, but the whole issue that I did not like uh, about to, to the development of Cortana, which they made her out to be a a vi villain of the piece instead of um, being on the s side of the good and all sorts of that which was I think uh, was not a necessarily route to go in and uh, all that lot. They could have a befitting way how to to uh, go after Cortana and buy um, uh, by rescuing her, bringing her back, so she can be cured, so she can revert back to her normal upbeat self, like she did in Halo 2 Anniversary, which was excellent, which we'll be reviewing next week and at some point, because um, Halo uh, Master Chief Collection has got so many things to explore and that. So which we'll have time to squeeze it all in today, which is going to come um, next Saturday and whatever. But, but I still think sucking into people into these transaction, microtransactions for rare and legendary items, it's not, it's not right. It's not a great way to to go about in video gaming, people would like to have this experience of playing video games by doing co-op and a multiplayer which you can challenge your rivals to to get awards and, and, that, and do them that way. That would be common sense, that which should be a route to go, but instead of this um, corporate bullshit that's been going on with these um, companies of late, Fans as as start to get rather pissed off uh, for with these um, common practices, and that's why they forever ranting you know, about it on these um, videos. By right, what I Angry Joe said was exactly spot on. I agree right down the line. Uh, what it says about these very issues, and people should get together as a collective gaming community tell these companies to to stop these practices we had enough we want to have the experience and enjoyment of playing video games again 
instead of this um, title touting into buying into these um, licenses and that just really buying games like Mortal Kombat 10 and um, uh, Hill and Master Chief Collection which one of the components are on there but locked behind the pay while you have to pay extra to unlock it to play it and those kind of practices should um, stop and etc and that really really pisses um, people off and etc as when these um, companies learn their mistakes, they, they will learn to stop doing it and give people the fun and experience of playing the game. Yeah, and the, like I said, the game itself is beautiful. The, the elements are, the, are great. The rendering of um, the actors, including Nathan Fillion, was spot on and that, but um, I was not keen on Katana's likenesses in the game, which was way creepy and that. They could have done a lot better than treating Katana with a lot of respect, but the rest of the character developments in the game was spot on and that. And basically that's um, Halo 5 Guardians in a nutshell f for you. Um, next week I'll be doing um, the whole explorations about the Master Chief Collection. I'd love to show you the footage but it may contain some copywritten music and that which I don't want to get this video f flag and taken down and then etc. But uh, yeah, I'll be sh showing you the uh, um, co comparisons of, of um, that uh, um, next Saturday. But th this is me, Frankie Smiles for Halo 5 Guardians, um, where we are. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And please also share on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. If you've got an Instagram account, please do share them. And also share on sites like um, Pinterest and that. And, and um, have a great day day wherever you are in the world and look out for Halo Master Chief Collection until then peace